Okay, so this screencast accompanies the following Ealing film loop, vector addition, velocity of a boat. This is specifically depicting Galilean relativity. I show this particular film loop during lecture in class. It accompanies a specific problem. I always show this film loop after the problem itself. Okay, let me go ahead and set the film here into motion. You can find a raw recording here of the film loop in its own playlist here on YouTube as well. But I do show this film loop in class. Okay, now what they do here in this film loop is they position a camera like so on a bridge and they then point the camera down towards the river below. And then we've got these guys here in this boat. What they're going to do here initially is drop some pieces of paper here into the water. This gives us an idea as to what the current looks like. So over here to the lower left hand side and the lower right hand side are stationary buoys representing the shore. And what you're seeing here like so is the velocity vector u. This is the velocity of the water, the moving reference frame, with respect to the shore, the stationary reference frame. Okay, now the whole time that they maneuver their boat in this film, they always keep the throttle set at the same value on the motor. So the speed of the boat relative to the water is always the same. They're going to do here for us two one-dimensional cases first. They're first of all pointing the boat upstream and then secondly downstream. Now you can see here that the velocity of the boat relative to the shore when they point the boat upstream is small. And the reason for that is because the velocity vectors v equals v prime plus u add together in the following way. We have the velocity of the boat with respect to the water plus the velocity of the water with respect to the shore. That then gives us the velocity of the boat with respect to the shore, a small value pointing upstream. Okay, next what they're going to do is point the boat downstream and then of course when they do the velocity of the boat with respect to the shore is going to be a big value. Okay, so they'll show us that here in just a moment, like so. Now in this case you're seeing the vectors add together in the following way. V prime plus U is equal to V. Velocity of the boat with respect to the water plus the velocity of the water with respect to the shore. That then equals the velocity of the boat with respect to the shore. Okay, next they're going to do part A of the problem that I do in class. They're going to point the boat perpendicular to the shore, such that relative to the shore, the boat then moves on an angle. So now as shown from above, that looks like this. And in this case, the velocity vectors add together in the following way. We have V prime plus U is equal to V. So velocity of the boat with respect to the water plus the velocity of the water with respect to the shore equals the velocity of the boat with respect to the shore. It's the same triangle as the triangle that I draw in part A of this problem. It's just rotated on its side by 90 degrees. Okay, then they're going to do part B of the problem that I do in class. What they're going to do here is they're going to point their boat slightly upstream, such that then the boat moves perpendicular to the shore. So first of all, as seen from the side, that then looks like this. Notice that the boat is pointed slightly upstream. Okay, and then as seen from above then, the situation looks like so. So now the triangle looks like this. Here we've got the velocity of the boat with respect to the water plus the velocity of the water with respect to the shore. That then equals the velocity of the boat with respect to the shore. So it's V prime plus U is equal to V like so. This is the same triangle as I draw in part B of the problem. It's just rotated on its side by 90 degrees, okay? Okay. 